Right, ladies and gentlemen, we are ready for our final bout of the evening. So would you welcome into the red corner, Jordan Miller. Would you welcome his opponent into the blue corner, Jonathan Giannon? <laughs> This is for the Lion Fighting Championships lightweight professional mixed martial arts title over three five-minute rounds of action as sponsored by Goham Clothing. Go hard or go home. And in the red corner, he weighed in at 153.2 pounds. He represents Miller MMA, Jordan Miller. And in the blue corner, he weighed in at 152.5 pounds. He represents the Reaper Squad France, Jonathan Suplex Giannon. Your referee in charge of the action, Dan Motherhady. As the gentleman, Daniel Mobahidi, brings these two together, it's the main event tonight here at Lion Fighting Championship. Out of the red corner from Miller MMA. Jordan Miller in this international, taking on Jonathan Suplex Giannon from the Reaper Squad. The Parisian in tonight to take on the highly experienced Miller. And the two meet as expected in LFC center ring. Miller a submission specialist with 70% of his wins coming by submission. Great all-rounder. Oh, big left hook there, I believe. That was a left hook or a right hook could have been on the inside. Looking for the guillotine here, the arms in. Oh, the arms out now. He's got that cinched up really tight. Giannon frantically trying to work out. Great hand fighting there. Oh, a beautiful outside trip, but Jordan just showing his extravagant power and landing on top. And using the cage to spring off in that position and wind up on top. Taking a look at the action here though, Dean, it's Miller who's caught side control, looking for the empty half guard is the Frenchman. Miller senses that, but gives up half, 
A great recovery for Suplex here, but he's up against the mesh. Gonna be difficult to operate from his back, but what a beautiful guard recovery. Gino very active off his back, looking to stop the pass by the knee, but Miller pushes it to the side, landing some hammer fist down from the top. And shoulder pressure from Miller as well. Jordan Miller continuing to work with that deep right underhook. Giannone looking for the wrestler's roll here, but shut down by Miller. Miller just very dominant and powerful here as he slips over to the mount. Giannone really needs to start thinking about retaining that half guard or looking for a sweep. He's, looks like he's coming out the back door here. Giannone continuing to scramble, but Miller slowing him down, taxing his man, and working in some elbows to try and force Giannone to give his back, and he does. Gian on turtles, Miller with both hooks in. Diving underneath to secure that neck. Miller working for the rear naked choke. He's gonna look to pull the chin up there. Gian on with these, open him up with these strikes. He's looking for the TKO and it's all over. Miller via ground and pound, looking for the submission off the back. But Gian on unable to defend and improve his position. It's a win for Jordan Miller. Well, ladies and gentlemen, as always tonight, please, let's hear it for both your professional fighters in the cage in this, our big title fight. But due to ground and pound in one minute, 56 seconds of the opening round, the Lion Fighting Championship's lightweight belt goes around the waist of the fighter from the red corner, Jordan Miller. I've got a black ski mask, but I don't ski, but I snowboard, dash an MC off peace. If one of you try to violate me, you get a punch in the face of my front door key, yes. Punch in the neck with my back door key, yes. It was a lot of talk coming into here about what it was gonna look like tonight, but you showed off in emphatic fashion, finishing early. Yeah, to be honest, I'm talking a lot now, to be fair, it's the only way I can get people to fight me. Um, I gotta thank my opponent for stepping up. Um, I haven't got the best of records, so I went through, you know, a lot of uh, a lot of crap earlier on in my career. That's over and done with now. My record's even up, but obviously a lot of people are dodging me. Everyone's running away from me. No one wants to fight me. They use the record as an excuse, but they know anyone that steps in here. I'm not bragging. I'm just saying, matter of fact, I'll kick the fuck out of anybody. Anyone in front of me, be a first rounder. I'll walk through it, everyone. Let's talk about how you set this one up. He was trying to shake you off the back, but you were punching and really force the issue with that ground and pound. No, it wasn't forcing it. Um, you, you gotta be opportunistic in MMA. You, you take whatever they give you, whether it's, if the strike's there, you take it. If it's not, there's always something else. And my base felt good. Whilst he was committing himself to moving, he wasn't committing to covering up. So if he had to escape, he had to give me some holes. That's what I capitalized on. If, if it put him away as it did then, great. If it didn't, I'd move on to the next thing, and to the next thing, and to the next thing. Eventually, I'll get something. You just keep going and going and going and going until you get whatever they give you. Showing off that principles-based approach, Jordan Miller, ladies and gentlemen.